Hey, Storytime grown-ups. Hope you're doing pretty well today. We are going to be talking this week about friends. If you watch Miss Karen's Storytime, it's all about friendship this week. So we're going to do some extension activities related to friends. Um, these are geared to about two to five-year-olds, um, but they could work slightly older or slightly younger with some modifications. The first idea I had is that you can make friendship bracelets for your child to give to their friends. One of my favorite ways to do it and one of the most economical ways is if you have pipe cleaners, you can string onto them or thread onto them um, dried pasta. You can color the pasta or you can do cut up pieces of straw that are about that big. Um, and use those as beads. Or if you happen to have beads around the house, you can obviously make them with beads. Um, I like to use the pipe cleaners because trying to thread onto something that is stable is easier for little ones than trying to thread onto like a string uh, because then you're trying to manipulate two things to bring them together. But if you have the pipe cleaner holding still, it's a little bit easier. Um, so I hope that makes sense. But I usually use pipe cleaners um, for a lot of threading activities because like I said, they're very stable. Um, I have also seen people use things like sticks and things like that for threading, but that's not gonna work very well for a bracelet, is it? All right, the next idea I had is that you can learn a friend's name and practice spelling it in Play-Doh or write it in a sensory bag or a sensory bin if you have those around. Um, anything where you are practicing writing it with your finger um, is good, especially if it's something that presses down once you write it so that they can feel the indents of where they're writing. Um, talk about letter formation as you're doing it and then also talk about the sounds that those letters make and other things that start with those letters. All right, the next idea I had is that you can make a puppet pal. So you can make a paper bag puppet. It's one of my favorite things to do, super easy to do. And if you don't have any paper bags at your house, you could make a paper plate puppet um, with just a paper plate and a popsicle stick. Or you can use a lot of different things to make puppets. Um, but, you know, let your little one pick. Pick what's available, whatever works best for you. All right, the next idea I had is that you can practice, this is tricky, introducing yourself. So have your little one practice saying, hi, my name is, and then asking what another person's name is. Those are tricky skills. I don't know how many times we've gone to playgrounds in my life where we leave and I say, oh, who was your friend? And the kids say, I don't know. So we practice those introducing themselves, saying hello, that's it easy first way to start to make a friend. Um, so they can practice that with stuffed animals that you have laying around the house. They can practice it with you, even though it might seem a little silly. Um, or they can also practice with maybe calling a friend on a video call and do it that way. All right, the next idea I had is a kindness paper chain. So I was thinking that you can work together to make a paper chain. You'll just need to cut strips of paper and then um, you'll attach it into a loop with either staples or uh, tape, whatever you have around. Glue sometimes works, but you do have to hold it for a little bit. Um, and then what I, was, what I had my daughter do was write something they did that was an act of kindness for somebody else and then attach that to the chain. So whenever they did something kind, they added it to the chain. So their chain's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. By the way, if you haven't made a paper chain before, this might seem self-explanatory, but just in case, if you haven't made one, as you attach the next ones, you wanna attach them and then staple, glue, tape, whatever you're doing. So you as a take it as a strip of paper, attach it around the existing ones. I should have brought in some examples to show you, but. Um, as they see their their kindness paper chain grow, it's a really nice way to affirm kind behavior too. All right, the last idea I had is that a lot of people are still really fairly isolated. So if you are, or if you have neighbors that are, you can make art in your front window or hang art in your front window so that they can see it when they're walking by or driving by. 
Um, so you can do, if you have any contact paper, you can rip up tissue paper and add it to that. Uh, it makes a really pretty mosaic, especially when it catches the light. If you have any window markers or super washable regular markers, you can go ahead and color on the window. Um, the Let's see. Those are the two ways my kids do art the most often in the windows, but you can also just make art and tape it into the window. So that might be a good idea too. Uh, but try to make some positive messages for the people who might be walking by. You never know, they might need that, right? All right, I hope this gives you some fun ideas to do about friends and friendship um, and about kindness a little bit too, huh? All right, good luck with preschool this week. I hope you're doing well. If you have, as always, if you have any suggestions or other ideas that you'd like to see us do or um, concepts that you need reintroduced or reinforced, please feel free to send a message um, or like just let us know when you stop in because you can stop in to browse now um, and let us know what you also need from us and hopefully we'll get to do programming again soon, but not till it's safe. So we'll see you then. Bye.